This video is just going to briefly walk you through how you could go about making your movie poster for the Romeo and Juliet transformation project um, because I think this may be a difficult task for um, some students. What I would recommend doing is going to Google Drive and going to then Google Drawings. So you'd have to go to New, More, and Google Drawings is down here. And now you have kind of your workspace set up where you're going to actually uh, bring things in for your movie poster. Then you need to get some images. So what I would recommend doing is going to images.google.com. So you can look for Google Images. And then um, you might be looking for a very specific type of background, but I'm just going to put in sci-fi background as kind of my generic one. Now if you want to have a dark image, um, you can change the color. So you might only want ones that are um, really dark. So you'd pick black there to make sure that that's a part of the image and these are all nice and dark. Um, you might want something that's very bright, so you might do the exact opposite. Let's see what we get here with all these images. Um, but you might not care too much. Maybe you just want it to be um, with a blue um, color pattern. So you click blue, and then you can roll, uh, scroll through. If you want a lighter blue, you can just kind of look through for those. If you want darker, there are lots of options here. Um, but eventually, you need to pick one. Um, so I'm just going to pick, um, let's do this one. Okay, um, so what you can do is you can just drag and drop this. So you can drag it into your Google Drawing and it will create that image. This you'll notice is not going to fit even if I do this. Um, it doesn't fit right. So you could either alter your uh, drawing to fit that um, or if you want to keep the same general workspace you can just make it a little bit larger. Then I actually find it useful to crop things um, just because I know where the edge of everything is. So um, I kind of like those. So maybe we'll move this over. Do this. Crop this side. If you don't know how to crop things, that's a very useful uh, feature to be aware of. Uh, there we go. It's for some reason just a little bit short. Sorry, I'll just leave it. Um, but anyway, uh, this image, uh, this button right here, allows you to crop the image. Once once you select the image, it'll show up. So if you don't have it selected, you won't see it. But if you select the image, then you can see crop image. All right. So now I have my background chosen. Um, now I probably want some things in the front, um, in the foreground. So let's just put some people there um, as a quick demonstration. This might not be uh, particularly good, but we're going to look up sci-fi cartoon character. And I know you might see different references that you want to make. Please don't take like Rick and Morty and put them in your movie poster, even if it might seem like a good idea idea, uh, idea to you at the time. Um, you want to, uh, you actually don't want to select any color, but that might be what you default to, so that's why I wanted to go back here. So now I have my sci-fi cartoon character search done. I want to go to Tools. I want to go back to color. Now instead of choosing any of the colors, I want to pick transparent. Um, the reason I want to pick transparent is then they will go over the background without actually having their own background on there. So it'll just be the character that I'm putting into, um, into my poster. And this isn't bad. Um, you can use ones that are kind of predefined like this. So if this actually fit my theme, I could use it. So let me just put it in here to show how it would work. So since I chose to have a transparent background, I can put these onto my poster. They will be in front of um, my background, and they won't have a white background that is making my poster look really ugly. Something that might happen if you do these kind of out of order um, is you might end up with something like this, where you tried to move it and it's gone. Um, that's because it is behind. Um, behind this image here. So you need to right click, which on the Chromebook would be like clicking with two fingers. Um, and then you'll see order and you can send this one I want to go to the back because this is the image in the front. So um, you can either send backward, just goes back one stage or send back, sends it behind every other image that you have there. Um, so now I have this again in front. OK. 
Okay, so it's a start. Um, you might want other um, kind of decoration uh, in your poster. But you can do basically the same process. So um, maybe I want a spaceship. Okay, if I do spaceship, um, wow, this is transparent. I don't think this would really be effective. I'm, yeah, this wouldn't be effective. But this one seems to match the, the art style somewhat closely. Maybe this one. Maybe the one's fine. Uh, let's take this one and put it into my drawing. Okay, um, it's a little different art style. Uh, I don't mind it though. So then I have that in my drawing as well. Um, if I wanted to rotate it, because I didn't really like the way it fit on there, I could rotate it by using this little circle up here above the image. If it's going off the edge, um, it's not a big deal. It won't save with the picture, but if you want it going off the edge, you can. Um, I'll leave mine on the screen, or on the image. So now I'm building a little bit more of a, a scene here. I might want to put a title on here. To put the title there, um, I want to go to insert, probably text box. Um, there are a few ways you can do this. I'll do my writing there. You could have also just clicked the text box here. But text box here. Um, and then you have to pick some kind of font that actually fits your theme. So maybe this one will be good. Um, I want it larger. And um, here we'll do this. Um, we'll call it Written in the Stars Wars. I don't know. It's terrible. But you should have a, a name for your, your uh, adaptation. So that's my terrible name that I'm going to go with in this sample. And I probably also want it centered. Not that one. Um, notice also, if I have it down here, it's just up at the top, you can vertically center it as well, um, which is a good idea. And you might have it like that. Um, you might change the font colors. You want it to be readable, so maybe I'd change it to white. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Um, you might also want a background, so if you want a background around your text box, you do fill color, and it's kind of all blue, so let's make it so my background is also blue, maybe a really dark blue border around it, so it's just a border, and maybe then I'll do that same blue for my text, so it kind of matches. There, that's not so bad. Um, drag this down a little bit. Drag this down a little too. One more thing that you might want to do is change the shape behind this. Um, so maybe you don't like that this is a square. Um, so in that case you want to get rid of your background here. And there may be a better way to do this but I'm not actually aware of one. Um, so you want to get rid of your background again. And instead of doing that you can do a shape um, and draw a shape that would go behind it. So maybe you want it to be this shape and Oh, it's large enough, and we need it a little bit taller. And I had already mentioned that you might run into a situation, or maybe I'll just make the text smaller. You might run into a situation where the order is wrong, so remember that to fix that you just have to right click and then change the order. Um, and I probably want it behind the spaceship as well, um, so let's send it back one more. Okay. And this I'm going to make a little bit smaller, maybe 28. Uh, okay. So then, anyway, you get the point. Um, you can change the shape to be whatever you would like. Um, so in that case, I, I would probably change it sound like this particularly either. Um, but once you have your title on there, you have your uh, images, you'll need more than two. Um, so please look to the directions for exactly what you need to do and what's required of you for all of this. This is just showing you some things that you can do with um, Google Images and Google Draw. You'll probably also um, make some area kind of sectioned off for, um, no, it's ugly. 
Uh, let's do this. It's still terrible. Anyway, once you find a color that isn't terrible, it's okay. Um, you'll probably have some section that says, like, whatever your actor is, actor A as Romeo, and actor B as Juliet. You'll make it some really nice font, probably the same one as you had here. Um, do, what was my other one? 32. And again, I'll center it and center it again. So you'll probably have some section like that. Uh, it might say something like starring, right? That would make sense. Make that a little bit larger. Okay. Um, obviously, these would be actual actor names, and these would be whatever you changed your names to be uh, for your transformation, but this is just showing, the, showing you the general idea. Okay, so there are a lot of elements that you can keep adding, um, but once you're done, you will uh, probably title this drawing something like uh, RMJ Poster. Okay, and now you want to go over to your um, template where you're actually going to show me this. You are going to click insert and then drawing, but you're not going to make a new one here. Um, you do it from drive. And that's my most recent drawing. That looks a little odd, but that is probably just something um, that I don't really need it linked. Um, that is probably just something that was there because um, it saved a previous copy as the preview. but your new poster should have exactly the same thing as what you made on Google Drawing, and now it's on your template so that I can see it. If you want to take this whole thing and add a background to it, just to make that look a little bit nicer, you can. However, if you made a little mistake like I did, um, you know, there are ways to fix that. So you can crop the image a little bit, and then you can get rid of that white space. And there you have... Um, the start to a movie poster. So this is not in any way complete. There are still elements that I'm missing. I still need to point out what my elements were um, down underneath the poster. So please look to my full example um, posted a classroom so you can actually see that. But this at least shows you some of the techniques that you'd be using for creating that poster. If you have any questions, please let your teacher know. Um, and I hope that this was helpful.